this video is a part two series on how you can use this practice, uh, well not practice, but a strategy that you can use to learn chords in any key that you want when it comes to songs. And if you watch until the end of this video, I will provide a very powerful tool on how to use these chords in ear training or how to learn songs by ear using these chords. If you have not seen part one of this video, I would suggest that you go back and watch part one. I will put it in the description box for you. Um, that way you can watch that first and you can follow along in this video. So in basically, if you've seen part one, come back to this video and you'll be able to follow along. So I want to do a quick review of what I talked about at the end of part one, where I talked about scale degrees and how they are um, applied to chords. So I use the key of C major as an example. So remember, the C scale has C, D, E, F, the C major scale, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, and C. And again, um, C is the white key to the left of the two black keys. And then it goes D, E, just like the alphabet, and then F, and then G. And then after G, it resets the alphabet at A, and then B, and then C again. So all the piano is is just the same seven white keys and the same five black keys that repeat themselves in higher tone or in lower tone. So now that that's out the way, a scale is when you go step by step from one key to the next to get from one key to the same key, just an octave higher or an octave lower. So to get from one C to the next one, and you basically go through the notes, um, you know, step by step. I just went from one C to the very next C in the form of what's called a C major scale. So in the previous video, I talked about how to use the scale to build out chords that belong in that key. So as I mentioned, if we're in the key of C, then C is note number one, D is note number two, E is note number three in the scale, F is note number four in the scale, G is number five for the fifth scale degree, um, A is the sixth scale degree, and uh, B is the seventh degree in the scale, right? So first scale degree, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. And then C would be the first scale degree for the next group of notes, right? The same thing happens with chords. If you were to start with C and if you were to build out a C chord, right? And then let's say if you wanted to build a chord from C, you would go, or one type of chord, you start with C, you skip a key, go to E, you skip a key, go to G, so you use your one finger, your thumb for C, your middle finger for E, and your fifth finger for G. And you have a chord, right? So since C is the root of the chord, this would be an example of a C chord, right? If you go to D and make D the root where your thumb is, and then E, sorry, F, and then A, so you start with D, you skip a key, you run into F, you skip a key, run into A. So if you play D, F, and A at the same time, you run into the D chord. Same thing with E. If you go to E and you skip a key, you skip a key, you run into E, G, and B, you have um, the E chord. And again, I'm just kind of rushing, I'm kind of, you know, blazing through this because I've gone through this in more detail in part one. So that's the reason why I'm kind of like, you know, speeding through because I kind of want to get to the point of what I'm going to discuss in this video. So F is going to be F, A, C. G is going to be G, B, D. A is going to be A, C, E. The B chord is going to be B, D, and F. And then back to the C chord, C, E, G. So because we're in the key of C, the C chord is chord number one. D is chord number two. E is chord number three. F is chord number four. G is chord number five. A is chord number six. B is chord number seven. And then C is back to chord number one. So why do we give these chords numbers when we're in a particular key? Because those numbers help us figure out the series of chords that are happening in a particular song. So those series of chords are what we call chord progressions. And the numbers help us figure out what's happening in that chord progression. So what I want to do is I'm going to give you an example of a chord progression, and I always kind of start, especially since most of you guys who are watching this are complete beginners, I like to use pop as an example because pop is, out of all the genres, jazz, gospel, R&B, blues, those tend to be a bit richer um, genres, 
Pop is like super simple. It's very straightforward. Pop uses the easiest version of what I'm going to show you. So one example of a common chord progression that happens in pop music is what is called one, five, six, four. And before I continue, I do want to bring to your attention that I do have, if you're a complete beginner, if you're serious about learning piano, I have a free piano in three steps video in the description box. It's completely free. You can sign up for it. I go over um, what I'm showing it to you in more detail, but I also go over some other basics that you need to know to learn piano or get your foot in the door when it comes to learning piano for complete beginners. So if you're interested in that, please go in the link in the description box and sign up for that. So going back to this pop chord progression, what do I mean by one, five, six, four? If you listen to some of the common pop songs, you'll hear the chord patterns in the back. And in some cases, it's the one, five, six, four. So what do I mean by that? I'm going to apply those numbers to the actual chords that I'm going to play based on the chords that I've just shown you. So in most cases, what pop music does is it takes the chord progressions and it just repeats them over and over and over again throughout the entire song. So it goes one, five, six, four, one, five, six, four, one, five, six, four, the entire song. I'll give you an actual example. So the first chord is chord number one. So if we're in the key of C, that brings us to the C chord. So C, E, and G. Right? The next chord that I've established is chord is five, which means that we go to chord number five. One, two, three, four, five, which lands us on that G chord, the G, B, and D. As I play this, this might start to sound a little familiar. The next chord that I've talked about is six. So after five, I would just go one key up and I play chord number six, which is in this case, it's the A chord, A, C, and E. And then the last one I mentioned is chord number four, which if we go back to C, we go one, two, three, four. That brings us to the F chord, the F major triad, which is F, A, C. So what we're doing is when I say one, five, six, four, what that means is you play chord number one, chord number five, chord number six, chord number four, and you just loop it. Cause girls like you run around with guys like me to sundown when I come through. I need a girl like you, yeah, and I won't hit. Wait, sorry, I did that wrong. I won't hesitate no more, no more. It cannot wait. I'm yours. So as you can see, it's the same chord progression that I just used for two different songs. So that is the reason why it's important to understand how chord progressions work, how chord scales work, and it's even more important to learn those actual chords for each of the keys. So when you're going through songs and you got to figure out the key that the song is in, you're able to go to the chords in that key because you've practiced those chords in the same manner that I've just shown you in part one for the key of C. All the other keys have their groups of chords that belong to that key. So you would just replicate that same process for those other keys. With that said, I have a surprise resource for you. As of this video, um, a few days ago, I did a live on how to figure out the chords in a song using ear training or using or basically figuring out how to play chords in a song by ear. So I will provide a link in the description box for that live. Um, it's a little bit longer but I think it'll be worth it for you to give you a better understanding of how, um, you know, learning piano works, how theory works, and how learning songs by ear play a major role in that particular process. So what I also have, so that link will be in the description box, but I also have an end screen. If you want more videos on how chords work, I have a playlist, which is called All Things Chords. I will provide a link for that in the end screen here. It should pop up very soon. So thank you for watching. If you like this video, please like, comment, share, turn on the notification bar or notification bell. 
If you have any questions, put them in the comment section. I'll be happy to answer them. Thank you for watching. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.